A classical field theory is a physical theory that predicts how one or more physical fields interact with matter through field equations. The term classical field theory is commonly reserved for describing those physical theories that describe electromagnetism and gravitation, two of the fundamental forces of nature. Theories that incorporate quantum mechanics are called quantum field theories. A physical field can be thought of as the assignment of a physical quantity at each point of space and time. For example, in a weather forecast, the wind velocity during a day over a country is described by assigning a vector to each point in space. Each vector represents the direction of the movement of air at that point, so the set of all wind vectors in an area at a given point in time constitutes a vector field. As the day progresses, the directions in which the vectors point change as the directions of the wind change. The first field theories, Newtonian gravitation and Maxwell's equations of electromagnetic fields were developed in classical physics before the advent of relativity theory in 1905, and had to be revised to be consistent with that theory. Consequently, classical field theories are usually categorized as non-relativistic and relativistic. Modern field theories are usually expressed using the mathematics of tensor calculus. A more recent alternate mathematical formalism describes classical fields as sections of mathematical objects called fiber bundles. In 1839 James McCullough presented field equations to describe reflection and refraction in an essay toward a dynamical theory of crystalline reflection and refraction. Non-relativistic field theories Some of the simplest physical fields are vector force fields. Historically, the first time that fields were taken seriously was with Faraday's lines of force when describing the electric field. The gravitational field was then similarly described. <laughs> Newtonian gravitation The first field theory of gravity was Newton's theory of gravitation in which the mutual interaction between two masses obeys an inverse square law. This was very useful for predicting the motion of planets around the Sun. Any massive body M has a gravitational field G which describes its influence on other massive bodies. The gravitational field of M at a point R in space is found by determining the force F that M exerts on a small test mass M located at R, and then dividing by M G R equals F R M Display style Math BF G Math BF R equals frac Math BF F Math BF R M Stipulating that M is much smaller than M ensures that the presence of M has a negligible influence on the behavior of M. According to Newton's law of universal gravitation, F R is given by F R equals minus G M M R two R carrot display style math bf f math bf r equals frac g m m r carrot two hat math bf r where r carrot display style hat math bf r is a unit vector pointing along the line from m to m, and g is Newton's gravitational constant. Therefore, the gravitational field of m is g r equals F R M equals minus G M R two R carrot display style math b f g math b f r equals frac math b f f math b f r m equals frac g m r carrot two hat math b f r the experimental observation that inertial mass and gravitational mass are equal to unprecedented levels of accuracy leads to the identification of the gravitational field strength as identical to the acceleration experienced by a particle. This is the starting point of the equivalence principle, which leads to general relativity. For a discrete collection of masses, m, located at points, r, the gravitational field at a point r due to the masses is g r equals minus G I M I R minus R I R minus R I three 
Display style Math BF G Math BF R equals G sum underscore I frac M underscore I Math BF R Math BF R underscore I Math BF R Math BF R underscore I carrot three If we have a continuous mass distribution row instead, the sum is replaced by an integral G R equals minus G V row X D three X R minus X R minus X three Display style Math BF G Math BF R equals G I I I N T underscore V frac row Math BF X D carrot three Math BF X Math BF R Math BF X Math BF R Math BF X carrot three Note that the direction of the field points from the position R to the position of the masses re, this is ensured by the minus sign. In a nutshell, this means all masses attract. In the integral form Gauss's law for gravity is G D S equals minus four pi G M Display style I I N T Math B F G C D O T D Math B F S equals minus four Pi G M While in differential form it is G equals minus four Pi G Rho M Display style Nabla C D O T Math B F G equals minus four Pi G Rho underscore M Therefore, the gravitational field G can be written in terms of the gradient of a gravitational potential phi R G R equals minus phi R Display style Math BF G Math BF R equals Nabla Phi Math BF R. This is a consequence of the gravitational force F being conservative. Topic: Electromagnetism. Topic: Electrostatics. A charge test particle with charge Q experiences a force F based solely on its charge. We can similarly describe the electric field E so that F equals Q E. Using this and Coulomb's law, the electric field due to a single charged particle is E equals 1 4 pi e0 q r 2 r caret display style math bf e equals frac 1 4 pi epsilon underscore 0 frac q r caret 2 hat math bf r the electric field is conservative and hence is given by the gradient of a scalar potential v r e R equals minus V R display style math BF e math BF R equals nabla V math BF R Gauss's law for electricity is in integral form e D s equals Q e e0 Display style I I N T Math BF E C D O T D Math BF S equals frac Q underscore E epsilon underscore zero while in differential form E equals Rho E E zero Display style Nabla C D O T Math BF E equals frac Rho underscore E epsilon underscore zero Topic Magnetostatics A steady current I flowing along a path will exert a force on nearby charged particles that is quantitatively different from the electric field force described above. The force exerted by I on a nearby charge Q with velocity V is F R equals Q V times B R Display style Math BF F Math BF R equals Q Math BF V times Math BF B Math BF R where B R is the magnetic field, which is determined from I by the Biot-Savart law 
B R equals mu zero I four pi D times D R carrot R two Display style Math BF B Math BF R equals frac mu underscore zero I four pi int frac D bold symbol L times D hat Math BF R R carrot two. The magnetic field is not conservative in general, and hence cannot usually be written in terms of a scalar potential. However, it can be written in terms of a vector potential, A R B R equals times A R Display style Math BF B Math BF R equals Nabla times Math BF R Math BF R Gauss's law for magnetism in integral form is B D S equals zero Display style I I N T Math BF B C D O T D Math BF S equals zero While in differential form it is B equals zero Display style nabla c d o t math b f b equals zero. The physical interpretation is that there are no magnetic monopoles. Topic: Electrodynamics. In general, in the presence of both a charge density rho r t and current density j r t, there will be both an electric and a magnetic field, and both will vary in time. They are determined by Maxwell's equations, a set of differential equations which directly relate E and B to the electric charge density charge per unit volume rho and current density electric current per unit area J. Alternatively, one can describe the system in terms of its scalar and vector potentials V and A. A set of integral equations known as retarded potentials allow one to calculate V and A from rho and J, and from there the electric and magnetic fields are determined via the relations E equals minus V minus T display style math BF e equals nabla V frac partial math BF a partial T B equals times a display style math BF B equals nabla times math BF a topic hydrodynamics Fluid dynamics has fields of pressure, density, and flow rate that are connected by conservation laws for energy and momentum. The mass continuity equation is a continuity equation, representing the conservation of mass rho t plus rho u equals zero. Display style frac partial rho partial t plus nabla c d o t rho math b f u equals zero. And the Navier-Stokes equations represent the conservation of momentum in the fluid, found from Newton's laws applied to the fluid. T rho u plus rho u u plus p i equals tau plus rho b. Display style frac partial partial t rho math bf u plus nabla c d o t rho math bf u o times math bf u plus p math bf i equals nabla c d o t bold symbol tau plus rho math bf b. If the density rho pressure p deviatoric stress tensor tau of the fluid, as well as external body forces b, are all given, the velocity field u is the vector field to solve for. Topic. Potential theory The term, potential theory, arises from the fact that, in 19th century physics, the fundamental forces of nature were believed to be derived from scalar potentials which satisfied Laplace's equation. Poisson addressed the question of the stability of the planetary orbits, which had already been settled by Lagrange to the first degree of approximation from the perturbation forces, and derived the Poisson's equation, named after him. The general form of this equation is, 2 phi equals sigma display style nabla caret 2 phi equals sigma 
where sigma is a source function as a density, a quantity per unit volume, and phi the scalar potential to solve for. In Newtonian gravitation, masses are the sources of the field so that field lines terminate at objects that have mass. Similarly, charges are the sources and sinks of electrostatic fields, positive charges emanate electric field lines, and field lines terminate at negative charges. These field concepts are also illustrated in the general divergence theorem, specifically Gauss's laws for gravity and electricity. For the cases of time-independent gravity and electromagnetism, the fields are gradients of corresponding potentials g equals minus phi g e equals minus phi e display style math bf g equals nabla phi underscore g quad math bf e equals nabla phi underscore e so substituting these into gauss law for each case obtains 2 phi equals 4 pi g rho g 2 phi equals minus rho e e 0 display style nabla caret 2 phi equals 4 pi g rho underscore g quad nabla caret 2 phi equals rho underscore e over epsilon underscore 0 where rho g is the mass density and rho e the charge density Incidentally, this similarity arises from the similarity between Newton's law of gravitation and Coulomb's law. In the case where there is no source term, e.g., vacuum, or paired charges, these potentials obey Laplace's equation 2 phi equals 0 display style nabla caret 2 phi equals 0. For a distribution of mass or charge, the potential can be expanded in a series of spherical harmonics, and the nth term in the series can be viewed as a potential arising from the two n moments. See multipole expansion. For many purposes, only the monopole, dipole, and quadrupole terms are needed in calculations. Topic: <laughs> Relativistic field theory. Modern formulations of classical field theories generally require Lorentz covariance as this is now recognized as a fundamental aspect of nature. A field theory tends to be expressed mathematically by using Lagrangians. This is a function that, when subjected to an action principle, gives rise to the field equations and a conservation law for the theory. The action is a Lorentz scalar, from which the field equations and symmetries can be readily derived. Throughout we use units such that the speed of light in vacuum is 1, i.e. c equals 1 equals topic lagrangian dynamics equals given a field tensor phi a scalar called the lagrangian density l phi 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 x display style math call l phi partial phi partial partial phi l dots x can be constructed from phi and its derivatives. From this density, the action functional can be constructed by integrating over spacetime S equals L minus G D four X Display style math call S equals int math call L SQRT G mathrm D carrot four X where minus G Display style sqrt g is viewed as the Jacobian in curved spacetime g det g mu nu display style g equivalent text det g underscore mu nu. Therefore, the Lagrangian itself is equal to the integral of the Lagrangian density over all space. Then, by enforcing the action principle, the Euler-Lagrange equations are obtained. Delta S delta phi equals L phi minus mu L mu phi plus plus minus one M mu one mu two mu M 
minus one mu m l mu one mu two mu m minus one mu m phi equals zero Display style frac delta math call s delta phi equals frac partial math call l partial phi partial underscore mu left frac partial math call l partial partial underscore mu phi right plus c d o t s plus minus one carrot m partial underscore mu underscore one partial underscore mu underscore two c d o t s partial underscore mu underscore m one partial underscore mu underscore m left frac partial math call l partial partial underscore mu underscore one partial underscore mu underscore Two C D O T S partial underscore mu underscore M one partial underscore mu underscore M phi right equals zero. Topic Relativistic fields Two of the most well known Lorentz covariant classical field theories are now described. Topic Electromagnetism Historically, the first classical field theories were those describing the electric and magnetic fields separately. After numerous experiments, it was found that these two fields were related, or, in fact, two aspects of the same field, the electromagnetic field. Maxwell's theory of electromagnetism describes the interaction of charged matter with the electromagnetic field. The first formulation of this field theory used vector fields to describe the electric and magnetic fields. With the advent of special relativity, a more complete formulation using tensor fields was found. Instead of using two vector fields describing the electric and magnetic fields, a tensor field representing these two fields together is used. The electromagnetic four potential is defined to be a a topic phi a and the electromagnetic four current ya rho j. The electromagnetic field at any point in spacetime is described by the anti-symmetric rank electromagnetic field tensor F A B equals A A B minus B A A Display style f underscore ab equals partial underscore A A underscore B partial underscore B A underscore A The Lagrangian To obtain the dynamics for this field, we try and construct a scalar from the field. In the vacuum, we have L equals minus 1 4 mu 0 f a b f a b Display style math call L equals frac one four mu underscore zero F carrot ab F underscore ab. We can use gauge field theory to get the interaction term, and this gives us L equals minus one four mu zero F A B F A B plus J A A A Display style math call L equals frac one four mu underscore zero F carrot ab F underscore ab plus J carrot A A underscore a Topic The equations to obtain the field equations the electromagnetic tensor in the Lagrangian density needs to be replaced by its definition in terms of the four potential A, and it's this potential which enter the Euler-Lagrange equations. The M field F is not varied in the L equations. Therefore, B L B A A equals L A A Display style partial underscore b left frac partial math call l partial left partial underscore b a underscore a right right equals frac partial math call l partial a underscore a. 
evaluating the derivative of the Lagrangian density with respect to the field components L A A equals mu zero J A display style partial math call L partial A underscore A equals mu underscore zero J carrot A and the derivatives of the field components L B A A equals F A B display style partial math call L partial partial underscore B A underscore A equals F carrot ab obtains Maxwell's equations in vacuum. The source equations Gauss law for electricity and the Maxwell Ampere law are B F A B equals mu zero J A display style partial underscore B F carrot ab equals mu underscore zero J carrot a while the other two Gauss law for magnetism and Faraday's law are obtained from the fact that F is the four curl of A, or, in other words, from the fact that the Bianchi identity holds for the electromagnetic field tensor. 6 F A B C equals F A B C plus F C a B plus F B C A equals zero. Display style six F underscore ab C equals F underscore ab C plus F underscore C A B plus F underscore B C A equals zero, where the comma indicates a partial derivative. Topic. Gravitation After Newtonian gravitation was found to be inconsistent with special relativity, Albert Einstein formulated a new theory of gravitation called general relativity. This treats gravitation as a geometric phenomenon curved space-time caused by masses and represents the gravitational field mathematically by a tensor field called the metric tensor. The Einstein field equations describe how this curvature is produced. Newtonian gravitation is now superseded by Einstein's theory of general relativity, in which gravitation is thought of as being due to a curved spacetime, caused by masses. The Einstein field equation describes how this curvature is produced by masses g a b equals kappa t a b display style g underscore ab equals kappa t underscore ab where kappa equals 8 pi g, C4 is a constant which appears in the Einstein field equations and not the action, and g a b equals r a b minus r 2 g a b Display style g underscore ab equals r underscore ab frac r two g underscore ab is the Einstein tensor. An alternate interpretation, due to Arthur Eddington, is that r display style r is fundamental. T display style t is merely one aspect of r display style r and kappa. Display style kappa is forced by the choice of units. The vacuum solution can be obtained by varying the following Einstein-Hilbert action with respect to the metric S G equals K R minus G D four X Display style S G equals K int R S Q R T G D carrot four X. The vacuum field equations are the field equations written without matter, including sources. Solutions of the vacuum field equations are called vacuum solutions. The field equations may be derived by using the Einstein-Hilbert action. Varying the Lagrangian L equals R minus G. Display style math call L equals R S Q R T G. 
where R equals Rabgab is the Ricci scalar written in terms of the Ricci tensor Rab and G the determinant of the metric tensor Gab will yield the vacuum field equations G A B equals zero Display style G underscore Ab equals zero. Topic Unification attempts Attempts to create a unified field theory based on classical physics are classical unified field theories. During the years between the two world wars, the idea of unification of gravity with electromagnetism was actively pursued by several mathematicians and physicists like Albert Einstein, Theodore Kaluza, Hermann Weyl, Arthur Eddington, Gustav Mie, and Ernst Reichenbacher. Early attempts to create such theory were based on incorporation of electromagnetic fields into geometry of general relativity. In 1918, the case for the first Geometrization of the electromagnetic field was proposed in 1918 by Hermann Weyl. In 1919, an idea of five-dimensional approach suggested by Theodore Kaluza. From that, a theory called Kaluza-Klein theory was developed. It attempts to unify gravitation and electromagnetism, in a five-dimensional space-time. There are several ways of extending the representational framework for a unified field theory which have been considered by Einstein and other researchers. These extensions in general are based in two options. The first option is based in relaxing the conditions imposed on the original formulation, and the second is based in introduction other mathematical objects into the theory. An example of the first option is relaxing the restrictions to four-dimensional space-time by considering higher dimensional representations. That is used in Kaluza-Klein theory. For the second, the most prominent example arises from the concept of the affine connection that was introduced into the theory of general relativity mainly through the work of Tullio Levi Civita and Hermann Weyl. Further development of quantum field theory changed the focus of searching for unified field theory from classical to quantum description. Because of that, many theoretical physicists gave up looking for a classical unified field theory. Quantum field theory would include unification of other two fundamental forces of nature, strong and weak nuclear force which act on subatomic level. See also Relativistic wave equations Quantum field theory Classical unified field theories Variational methods in general relativity Higgs field classical Lagrangian field theory Hamiltonian field theory covariant Hamiltonian field theory equals equals notes <laughs>